Uh, we have breaking news. Are you serious? All we need now is a shooting. Well, that's what we got. This time, a gunman. He's still at large. Uh, after a wounding, shooting six people at a Georgia FedEx building. A gunman remains at large today, April 29, 2014, after shooting at least six people. They're wounded at a shooting in Georgia at a FedEx facility. The gunman erupted inside the Airport Road building just northwest of Atlanta. Uh, emergency workers rushed the victims to the Wellstar uh, Kennan uh, Stone Regional Medical Center, but their conditions were not immediately released. Uh, also, WXIA TV is reporting that the suspect fled after the shooting and was still on the run more than two hours later. A spokesperson for FedEx said only that the company was working with investigators but declined to speak any further. FedEx is aware of the situation, the spokesperson said in a statement. Our primary concern is the safety and the well-being of our team members, first responders, and others affected. FedEx is cooperating with authorities. So there's something horrific Going on, the devils went down to Georgia. There's no question. Not only are there tornadoes, not only is there a gunman in the FedEx, but folks, we have a country that's in trouble. We really need to pray. And you know what? It's, uh, God is some of the greatest Christians in the world are in the South, yet it's the South that's taking the hit. This same thing happened when President Obama recommended we go back to the pre-1967 borders and all of a sudden tornadoes tore through Moore, Oklahoma and uh, Ardmore, Oklahoma and Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Do you remember that? Right in the heart of the Bible Belt. And the, and the Christian people respond always in a positive way. But we're constantly seeing the punishment upon our nation. A punishment. What I believe the harbingers, these are just harbingers. You haven't seen uh, the real judgment of God. God is merciful, and but right now the devil's loose. These are demons. God didn't do this shooting. I can tell you that. There's devil. The demons of hell are loose in the hearts of man, and we're seeing more and more violence across this nation, which may be the most violent nation in the world. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Would you please pray for these six that are wounded. Also pray for the first responders and everybody involved. And also pray that this uh, individual who did this shooting is captured. It needs to happen and it needs to happen now. So we'll continue to monitor the things going on. Also, earth uh, tornadoes are still breaking loose across the south as I speak. This is a very intense day. Remember what I have said how many times. Whatever's going on in the spiritual world, many times manifest as in the physical, and it's manifesting today. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are living truly, truly, without a question, in the last days. It's time to be saved by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells you that with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confessions made unto salvation. And if you would repent of your sins and call upon the name of the Lord, by faith you can be saved in the grace of God. In Jesus' name.